the fading reality. I saw it today. The holes appearing in the sky. I don't know whether or not if others have seen it or care if it was there. Most of my kind tend to act as though the happenings that are in front of them are not there. Nor do they acknowledge the facts when they are shown to their faces. As for me, I fully acknowledge the corpses that stand before me. This, though, is far different. The hole in the sky has appeared again. First time was when I was younger, and we were on the road. We were having a happy time. When we left the dining, and our bellies were full of the food we have devoured, having a nice conversation with one another, or not having a care in the world. And it was a wonderful day in general. But then it appeared, just a few inches above the sun. Its oval-like appearance was, was unnatural. It had spiky edges that ruined its smooth ends. I do not know why, but I was drawn to it. No words were heard, no one had understood. Nor was I a scientist of any kind to be drawn to that hole. But in its own queer manner, I was being absorbed into its pull. To this day, I always kept my eyes open for its appearance again. But I have never imagined what its true meaning was. That is, until I saw the broken skies that hovered above. Nothing. Just nothing. Pure darkness was only shown in the skies. Yet, that was what was weird. No stars. No reflection. Just darkness. That was when it hit me. It was that hole. The hole in the sky. I was more interested it to it this time. Just like how a city appeared in the sky, others will say that it was an illusion. Cast up by who though? Who could cast such an illusion to the sky itself? So was my mind seeking out answers? I set out to research the matter. I do not know if I should write what I saw or tell anybody. My research took me to black holes and theories about the met and time travel itself. So in other words, if I were to tell anyone of what I saw, it would, all, it would be put into a pile of pure rubbish by a scientist or I, myself, will be put into an institute of the mentally ill. I was never much of a genius. So I doubt anybody would even believe me. But I have to be heard out. I have found pieces that others can't see. Pieces that are like glass that can't cut through flesh. Being held at least. I must be going mad. Because this piece that I am holding is showing a reflection of the earth itself. Just a few days ago, they have found more black holes in our universe, only they weren't in different places. They were in spots that were already seen. So why does this piece stand before me? I ask myself. How does this all connect, I wonder. So many questions appear as I s seem to be losing whatever sanity I have left in my mind. Too many whispers appear through echoes in my head and too many loud bangs are coming as my eyes stare endlessly to the sky.
cracks, scars, and even bullet marks are now seen throughout the universe. Is this a punishment that mankind is given through our endless efforts to destroy Mother Nature and dare to call ourselves God? My eyes weary to that hole that is in the same spot when darkness is up and and as the moon or stars try to cover it that crack wins over the light I doubt that anyone will believe me at this point I was told by a dear friend that he does not know why everyone is not bothered by the fact that we are just evolved primates on a floating rock in a universe with a bomb in the center known as the sun. I believe him. I believe every word of his. As I have seen the sun in its full glory, I just wonder. As I have heard that the sun has has some black spots. How long will it take until black hole is grown on the sun?